wants a good thing. Well, let's draw a box for him to start in. All right. 640 by 640. We'll draw him a nice little box. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's say, because uh, I, I was kind of, I was thinking he's going to go through some tunnels uh, in the big uh, cistern uh, map, in, in map two. He's going to go through some tunnels and possibly get stuck in an underground cave or something. So let's stick him in a cave and All right. work our way from there. Okay, so we've built him a rock box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just, just going to stick him in here, have him face mm -hmm. upwards. and There we go. That's our first bit. That's... That's a playable level. <laughs> that is indeed a playable level. Um, so let's see. The idea, I suppose, is to work your way back up. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we start him off in this little cavern and goes through a bit of a tunnel and then he comes up someplace. Let's build him a little rock slide. Oh, fuck. Uh, over here, just some crackly shit. Yep. That, that he can't pass. Oh, I fucked that up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is 90% of Doomist. <laughs> yes. Uh... This, I think this is what Dan, uh, my, my patron Dan, was afraid of when he said, Oh, this is going to be so exciting. <laughs> oh, I've, I've also remapped the uh, paste uh, uh, flood fill texture. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you got me on the stream, was this just a challenge? I'm just... <laughs> And I've mapped, I've mapped home to the joystick. <laughs> Blood fills. You've got to do an octave on the keyboard next to you. Yes. Uh, in fact, placing placing a texture now is a, a circle, a half circle backwards, and punch. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, I am uh, rapidly destroying all the goodwill that I had in this map by uh, making a little tunnel that extends out. I'm going to do a little bit of different levels again just to spice mm -hmm, up mm -hmm. some and uh and of course make everyone's head go to pieces as they traverse this frankly kaleidoscopic texture of a cave <laughs> it's doing amazing things to the stream quality i can tell you <laughs> yes I, I would imagine so i'm gonna try this and let's see how it goes if i tag team someone in and then we just sort of bat uh, forth back and forth i think that could be fun like if i pass the ball to david and all right you, you do something th at the end of this this tunnel and then you pass it off to uh pickle dog who then has to work out whatever happens after the bit that you did does that sound fun all right ah uh, so david you should be in control of the map now all right fantastic here we go okay uh so well uh, while i get used to these controls <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's, there's something odd about um, outdoor maps in Doom because Doom has this automatic feature that um, will it'll highlight lines that go perfectly horizontally or perfectly vertically, uh, and that's to give the uh, illusion of more depth. Hmm. Uh, so generally, when you're doing rocky outdoor maps, you you just want to avoid doing uh, straight lines because they'll either appear brighter or darker than the surrounding textures. Right. Um, and that's that's just a weirdness of how Doom works. No, but you, can actually... it, you can turn it off in GZ Doom, but uh, yeah, if you're if you're using vanilla, that's what happens. Uh, uh, being absolutely, it, it now slightly resembles a dinosaur penis. Uh, uh, I watched <laughs> the um, uh, 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 post mortem with uh, Tom Hall and. Um, and John Romero, uh, mm -hmm. and they said that one of the one of the things they were really proud of was, in fact, that uh, Doom automatically lowered the lighting the further away uh, the sectors got, uh, which mm -hmm. which automatically made it spooky. So something off the distance, it automatically gets a bit darker, and that's that's automatic spookiness right there. So something's mm -hmm. always lurking in the shadows, and uh, I guess it makes sense that if you have corners, then. Of course, that's going to uh, move less light through the corridors or whatever. I see you're mm -hmm. going into open space territory, yes? Yeah, I'm just building a big room and uh, we'll see what comes of it. I think I see what you're going for here. Uh, we're going uh, we're going for that uh, that classic turnip uh, of having uh, two rivers uh, connected with a bit in the middle, a raised bit in the middle. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm guessing, at least. I'm Absolutely right. And uh, did you just make up the phrase "classic turnip," or is that a Danish thing? Because that's incredible. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was, trying to go for something else because I, I, I suddenly realized halfway through that sentence that "turnip" means something entirely, entirely different in British slang. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it is now in fact the classic turnip. All right. Well, that's good enough for me. How do you get into visual mode? Uh, w. W. Okay. I haven't changed that. So it, yeah, it might not be uh, Troll's fault. All of this uh, because uh, in the uh, in the 
more up to date version of GZ Doom Builder. That's a lot of the controls have changed. So, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. So, so what's your shortcut for the uh, lowering textures? Right, uh, raising and lowering is actually comma and period. Okay. I had to do that sense. because it that is uh, I believe is the uh, uh, shortcut key in uh, in build uh, Duke Nukem 3D's One, build. Two, three. Something interesting is going on here. Can you talk us through this, please? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, cu I'm cutting out bits of the map in the middle of the room, and that'll form uh, pillars. Uh, because if, if you if you have a nowhere, that's a solid wall. Yes. And see, that's one thing I really like about Doom, uh, uh, Doom Builder, is that it's mm -hmm. telling me what bit is missing a texture. So, <laughs> I mean, yes. still haven't worked out what the difference between lower, middle, and, and um, height. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. Help me! <laughs> Someone. <laughs> let's let's actually do that just now. Let's yes, let's uh, an opportunity for a mid texture. Um, let me see. I'll need to thin these walls a bit. I, I hadn't actually realized this room was so big, so that was actually a mistake on my part. But uh, I'm into we'll, it. We'll work with it. I love a, I love a big arena. Uh, no, it's no, a per perfect no. place to put a, a tomato garden. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, but your mid textures will only show up on either one-sided line defs or or um, trans transparent line defs, which we're probably going to get you in a bit. Hmm. Some words are being thrown around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this this might look a bit weird, but we'll do it anyway. Um, it's not perfectly aligned to the grid. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll put some lines there. That'll do. Yeah, I can see what you're going to do. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm intrigued. How the flaming hell do I paste the texture? <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. Yes. Uh, uh, again, laptop shortcuts. Uh, Control Alt V is just paste texture. Control Shift Alt V is flood paste. Oh god, let me grow some extra fingers. Uh, <laughs> okay, that that'll do. I promise I haven't rebound that much. All right. Um, this is looking okay. So. Yeah, so uh, in this case, I've, I've got a little uh, ledge here uh, mm -hmm. going up and down from the ceiling. Um, didn't mean to put the wall textures there. Normally in Vanilla Doom, you can't actually have, uh, you can't mix flats, uh, which are the floor textures, and uh, the corresponding wall textures, but uh, this does allow you to do it. GZ Doom doesn't care um, where textures are. Oh, so you, you, could, you, of... you, couldn't take it, you couldn't take a floor texture and put it on the ceiling? You can take a floor texture and put it on the wall. Floors and ceilings are interchangeable. Oh, right. See, now, th there's another thing that I've been wanting to do but haven't been able to figure out how is getting a floor texture and putting it on the walls. That's something I, I went up against in... Because I wanted to put blood everywhere on the first level. Couldn't do it. Couldn't figure out well, how. Well, let's, let's yeah, that's see. That's an original that... Doom limitation. Uh, uh, control out. Okay, so may maybe Doom Builder doesn't allow you to do that because uh, I just tried it and it doesn't seem to be working. But uh, yeah, uh, later Doom Builders would have that support that uh, that GZ Doom just doesn't care about which what's a flat and what's a wall. But uh, in Vanilla Doom, they were stored very differently in memory, so they mm. had to be two separate things. Because one thing uh, I wanted to do was give um, a level two a Hell Sky, and I couldn't work out how to do it. Turns out after much uh, googling and forum reading. Apparently, Doom stores the sky textures uh, individually for episodes. So every sky texture in episode one is Earth. Every sky texture in episode two is semi hell, and and so on. Well, so Absolutely on. Right. There's, there's one more episode to go, but yeah, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. um, let's put some red here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's talk about mid textures here. I, yes. I sort of uh, wandered around and got distracted, which is how I map. I I, I kind of. Uh, it, it's a very exploratory way of mapping, so I was doing something over here, and then I just got... Oh, I saw a bit over there, so I just flew over there and did something over here. Um, <laughs> like that. Different styles going yeah. together. I'm going... I am usually yeah. go, I would love to make A, and then I take a deep breath and go, how the fuck do I do that? <laughs> and then I draw a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the magic of mid textures. So we're going to select none of these are missing because mm -hmm. uh, we have a situation where we've got the line. It doesn't need any upper lower textures because it's got sectors the same height either side of it. Middle texture doesn't need to be there because uh, it's somewhere you can walk through. But we're going to change that. Uh, so we're going to use uh, by convention the mid textures. Oh wow, there aren't really a lot of them. Um, the mid textures start with mid. I'm sure there are a couple that don't, but. Uh, there we go. And the the odd thing, potentially odd thing, is we actually have to do this on both sides. So I'm just going to do that on the front side just now so you can see it. 
Um, so there's nothing there. Bars. Yeah, I see. Yeah, because it's technically it's technically just a, a flat line in space, just going straight past the uh, a view of whoever. Yeah. Uh, so you Absolutely have to put it right. on both sides of the line. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm I'm just uh, adding a bit more of a platform here. Maybe some. Uh, more... <laughs> there we go. One, two, three. Oh, no, I can't uh, raise textures now. One, 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 two, three. And the reason I'm counting three is because is uh, because three, eight, uh, pixel, eight, text, or whatever you call them, increments is the maximum height that Doomguy can step up. So three, three hits of the uh, uh, period key on my, on my Doom Builder. Three hits of the period key is the maximum. That's right, yeah. He, he can raise 24 pixels. <laughs> I like the yeah. seat of your pants mapping that's going on right now. You've, you've gone into decorating almost instantaneously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, it's um, like I just get distracted when when I'm uh, doing Doom maps, and it's one of the most satisfying editors that I've ever used. It's it's just incredible that uh, you can get such good results so quickly. Hmm. I think I, th I think that's what it is. Uh, maybe maybe there's some sort of cave over here. I'll vaguely draw it. Uh, yeah. Out over there. Um, and let's lower those walls so that it becomes a cave. Oh, and that's not because they can charge our back. <laughs> 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 so that's that's going to be something. And then you can climb up here again, and then possibly uh, get up to the top level again. Yeah. All right. Um. So okay. Yeah. Who wants to take over from here? I mean, if Pickle Dog doesn't have a magnificent sense of inspiration, I can sort of give it a go. Ah, oh, no, please carry on. Uh, I've got to think a little, um, a little longer about what I'm going to do. All right. Actually, let me just take us back to where we come out. That would be here. Oh, missing texture. We come out here into this lovely cave, and we immediately have a choice of left or right, and I would assume monsters from each side are going to come springing out at us in, in loving succession. Yeah. That this, makes a lot of sense, yeah. This I want to block off and make a juicy, juicy monster closet. All right. How in the blue fuck did you... This is, <laughs> this is one thing I've, I haven't wrapped my head around yet, is um, if I want to start drawing from this vertice and just do a, a straight line up, uh, if we go into line drawing and and start right clicking, it'll just you know go into the options for this line dev that I've now highlighted. I, I saw you do it. How do you do it? Oh, uh, so what are you what you're trying to do? I just want to draw a line from this vertice to that vertice. All right, so uh, hit Control and D together. I uh, go into drawing mode. That's drawing mode. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic! Just hit Enter, and there we go. We now have a box. <laughs> My forte. <laughs> Did you do that entire uh, last map without knowing the drawing mode existed? Because yes. that's even more impressive. <laughs> I actually did. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to put tons of shitty monsters in there so they can All right. pop out and get very shitty indeed. Uh, let's see. What would be the best way to... This is weird, by the way. Just building a closet uh, and not really having much of an idea of why it's springing open. It just sort of does. Um, mm -hmm. I guess... I guess we need to put something on this lovely little altar that you built over here, and that would be an excellent excuse to spring a trap that's coming from right over the corner there. Uh, Certainly, yeah. And and the fun thing here is, of course, that it's not just spilling out here, it's also spilling out into this open area here, making life all manners of unnecessarily uh, horrifying for the player. <laughs> Perfect. Perhaps a switch? Pulling a switch doesn't necessarily just mean bring one sector down as a lift or uh, open this one door. It can do a lot of intense shit um, around the map. So I guess if we told if we, if we told ourselves there's a, there's a switch on this wall and that's supposed to bring up a drawbridge or something to, to help us cross this, uh, which would be interesting, I guess. But that also opens up the monster closet. I've just made things very complicated for myself, haven't I? What I would do is put little pillars in the lava that are the um, that are the heart you want. Ah, yes. Um, Circumvent the problem. I see where you're going with this. I see exactly where you're going with this. Instead of building, instead of raising the entire sector, we just have little bits here that come up. I um, just realized that we could conceivably have a very fun level if they were just all raised at the same time. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, a thing I was thinking was that uh, we'll put another pillar here, uh, but the last pillar that we need uh, is actually a bit of elevator here. So that, that sector becomes an elevator that raises. And then you have to run from the switch over here and jump over there and boom, before the uh, elevator goes down again. Yeah, that works. I don't know if it's too far away. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, it might... We'll do some playtesting on this, but uh, yeah, that, that sounds like a solid idea. Okay, let's give that a try. And that also means uh, that hitting that switch will not lower these walls, because, as you say, it has to mm -hmm. be uh, uniform for everything. Yes, yeah. but what you can do instead is uh, just draw a line in front of the switch that isn't connected to anything else. Right, so when I run up to touch it, then the thing just falls down. Then the wall comes down. That's right. So that's, that's how Vanilla Doom maps do multiple effects. They put lines very close together. Um, uh, they did that for the blue key in the Toxin Refiner in, in the original game, the famous part where the lights all go out and mm. the wall opens behind you with all the imps. Uh, it had to do two things, so they're just two line devs that are really close together. And there's a, and there's a few other tricks you can do. You can add a line dev to a sector um, without splitting the sector, and you can just use that sector for effects. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also set it to hidden, and then it doesn't show up on your map. Uh, oh, I see a problem already. Lifts <laughs> lifts lower and then they go up. They don't do the opposite. So in that case, you could uh, you could trick it by having a higher ceiling somewhere that you need to you need to lower the pillar. Or we could just do a floor. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, uh, John Carmack is unquestionably a genius, but I do always wonder why he didn't think of parameterizing these. They're all just yes. individual things. Hmm. Now, what in the hell did I bind test map to? I used to have a <laughs> shortcut. <laughs> I can't remember. All right, there we go. Now let's run. Run like the wind. Ooh, nice bit of lighting there. Mm -hmm. And hello, fancy Mr. Switch. Now, when I walk up to this... That wall should go down. It didn't. You, you might not have crossed it because it's a bit close to the switch. You might want to make it bigger and a bit uh, set back from the switch. Ah, that that's one. The floor, though. That that's one great. did. I can't quite get over there. I, I forgot <laughs> to put in an extra pillar, but yes. Yeah, you'll, uh, yeah, you could do the same thing on the other side. So you've got the raising platform. Oh, yes, I could, actually. Yes. Now, there's the switch. So, all right, let's give this a test, and then, uh, Pickle Dog, do you have any brilliant ideas you want to add to this? Uh, I'm just, I'm just too distracted by everything I've seen here. It's, <laughs> I'm trying to come up with ideas, but it's like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> it's, it's still not triggering. Did I do something wrong? Oh. Well, we'll work it out. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, the, f uh, no wait, the floor is supposed to raise to next higher floor when you walk over this one. I believe we yes we turned the ceiling height down to the floor. I think. I have to go check. That. Okay, so if if the ceiling height is on the floor, you want the ceiling to raise. Yeah. Oh yes. Ce ceiling height is twenty. Not, not the floor to raise. Of course not. You're absolutely right. This is why you have the fancy degree. Um... <laughs> I I'm I'm the least qualified person in my family because uh, my uh, youngest brother just became a doctor. Uh, I think probably this month he's actually going to have the ceremony, uh, and, and he's a doctor in biology for making Ooh. nice HIV or something. Oh god, no! I mean, I mean that that's fantastic, obviously, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, I, I, he, I, I cannot understand what he does. Uh, he's, it's something to do with uh, curing cancer by taking HIV and making it glow in the dark. Oh, that's an interesting problem. Yeah, there. Oh, s someone fix that, please. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to block the player from going straight to that switch because I want the player to have to be in this room for a bit first. Hmm. Uh, and I'm going to uh, change the texture on here. Yes, that is a good idea because I think we've had our fill of this grey <laughs> salt and pepper thing going on here. Uh huh. So yeah, let's make this Ariel 2. So this will indicate that you need to find a yellow key to get rid of these. All right. Ah, some fireballs, which could will will pass through the grating we put or not. We'll find I out. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, I'm I'm not all that good at Doom. There, there have been people asking me to uh, do their maps because they want an expert opinion, but I, I'm not. I'm not Gordon Ramsay of Doom maps. <laughs> I'm. No, you're, I'm, you're I'm far just... more polite. I can tell. 
I just have a I have a bit of uh, you know design sense that I've picked up from looking at so many Doom maps and uh, just trying to help people out by spreading that. But yeah, do the I'm, Lord's I'm work. I, yeah, there's um, yeah, the, you can see that uh, in my streams I have great difficulty with uh, dealing with more than five monsters at a time. <laughs> Lucy Fonick in the chat asks, is this map supposed to be the shape of something? Uh, I will concede that looks slightly like the Wendy's logo. It looks like you've drawn a face <laughs> with some... <laughs> but I don't think that was intentional. Well, no. Um, but <laughs> Hello, Wendy. Incre incredible. Yeah, so what I'm, go what I'm gonna do here, uh, the, the, um, the spread of sound is quite difficult to understand in Doom maps because it obeys some weird rules. Yes, please uh, what, explain that one. Yeah, so uh, what I'm doing here just now is I'm going to set this flag called Death on these monsters. Um, it's not quite true, uh, and later uh, versions of GZ Doom Builder called this Ambush, which is a bit closer. Hmm. It means that um, even if it hears a sound, it will remain in place, uh, but as soon as it sees the player, uh, as if the player, even if it's behind it, if it's heard a sound, it'll instantly know where the player is. So it's not quite deaf, but it knows it has to ambush the player. It has to wait until it has a line of sight to the player. To, oh, uh, to so it up. will it will turn around to face the player, but stay mm -hmm. where it is. Okay, that makes mm -hmm. frightening. I'll, I'll do answers. the same. I'll do I'll do the same on these ones. Um, but if we didn't want, if we wanted to make a noise in this room, these monsters weren't marked as ambush, hmm. then what we can do is we can set the block sound. Oh, so that's what that does. Uh, so they will not hear yeah. what is going on until we get there. I thought you were going to make yeah, it impassable. Large maps. Uh, mm. Sorry, yeah, large maps, you absolutely need either doors or block sound, otherwise the first shot you fire will have every monster on the map hunt you, um, hunt you down. <laughs> yes. So yeah, for that for that same reason, we might want to do uh, the same thing here. So uh, shots in this area aren't going to wake up these monsters here. I think before we end the uh, uh, stream, um, which is not yet, so you don't need to stress or anything. But before we end the stream, okay. we we have to build one of those uh, teleporting in monster closets because that is oh okay it's one of those things I've always wanted to do. Uh, well, do you know what? This might be a good place for it. Let's uh, let's put a little altar down here so we have a space for it. We'll put an um, altar in Wendy's face. Oh, you are doing something fantastic, I can tell. You're so fancy. Yes. Ah, I see. Something no, I, is... I don't know what we're doing here. Ah, well, we, we, we were going to do a teleporting in monster thing, and I, I, I see what you're doing. There is a mm. key card on the edge of one of Wendy's tentacles here. And... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Wendy's seen some shit. Uh, she... She, she stepped through that door in, in the Mouth of Madness, and oh boy, shit happened. Let's build our monster closet up here. Hmm. Yeah, see, the, looks like. the thing, the thing I'm, I'm really wondering is not so much how to get them to teleport in, because I've, I've heard the, uh, the trick is to put a little wall in that lowers when the player crosses that line, uh, which, which, uh, which you know makes room for the teleporter. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing I'm wondering, and the thing I, that you're about to show me, I don't want to ruin the suspense or anything, is how to make them alert. All right. Mm. So they actually want to go in the teleporter and not just hang around and give each other biscuits and coffee. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there are two ways to do it. And um, we've heard about one of them, uh, which is uh, something that uh, id Software did, which was you build a tunnel just a little tunnel in the corner somewhere, a very long, thin sector, uh, to connect the monster closet to somewhere the player will have been forced to fire. Uh, for example, here, uh, this sector, uh, or this sector here, will be able to hear this gunfight, so you'd put a little mouse hole and you'd run it all the way over to here. Hmm. The second way is to use non-contiguous sectors, which are a bit... Um, trickier because <laughs> uh, they don't always work in the way you want to but i'm going to oh, try yes. to do that here um so i'm going to uh yeah I'm going to one sector with um with two um what's the word yeah um yeah sectors don't have to have to be contiguous mm -hmm. see you're using uh multi-syllabic words here that my my poor feeble scandinavian <laughs> brain cannot uh, fully <laughs> comprehend C uh, contiguous what what is what is the meaning of this word please uh, can, I suppose it's the same as continuous, really. That uh, all the sector is contained in one area. So, uh, oh, okay. all that's you can get to anywhere in this sector from anywhere in that sector. Oh, However, right. I see. we can 
stick a bit on the end here, and we can tell this sector that it's actually part of this sector. So uh, join them, yes. Yeah, we can do we can do a sector join. Okay. And, uh, what, what that does on a uh, line def level is uh, every line def has... Uh, every side def, I'm sorry, which is part of a line def, every side def has a sector index which describes the sector that it's facing into. Uh, and in this case, once we've joined the sectors, these have the same uh, sector index. So Doom thinks that these sectors are right up against each other even though they're not. Exactly. Yep. That's right. Well, let's see. Are, are they not going to get confused? Because to them, the sound is coming off of that little uh, that little tumor uh, sector you built next to the closet. So they don't have a concept of where sound's coming from. They just know that they paired it. Yeah, oh, it just uh, wakes them up. Okay. Yeah, uh, and so they will always try to follow the player. If they hit a wall, they will wander about a bit, and then they'll start trying again. So... Uh, <laughs> All right, so action is... Uh, oh, God almighty, I, I can't <laughs> look at this. Uh, floor, lower two. Uh, so we're going to walk one, W1. Floor, lower two, lowest floor. That'll do. All right, and it's going to affect tag three. Yes. All right, so uh, as you can tell, we've got no monsters teleporting in, so let's just see. Yeah, the monsters seem very, very uninterested. Yeah, okay. So they The wall did come down. The wall did come down. Whoa, okay. okay. There so they go. <laughs> there they right, go. So there was there was a little uh, irregularity in my, uh, my uh, sector sound trickery. Uh, th this, is why th this is why I was saying when I made it that these tend to be a bit more erratic and it's a bit difficult to yeah. tell what you've done wrong. Yeah, Just so just do the sound tunnel method, which is to make a very long, thin sector between the what we have as the two halves of our uh, sound sector just now. So, uh, yeah, just draw draw a very thin tunnel. Uh, between those, like this. Uh, just start, yeah, start starting with the outer wall, starting with the outer wall, right. and going up to the outer wall of the uh, isolated monster closet. Oh, start, oh, fuck! What did I do? Uh, there. Oh, uh, oh, and, uh, and up. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that's right. So that's we right. go like that, like that. Oh shit! Fuck Ooh. that up. <laughs> <laughs> and that looks like that. So there's a little. Ah, I see. And then, yep. And then fix the. Let's put you in there. Uh, and yeah, and now look, you can barely see it. Yep. Uh, hit hit A when you're pointing at one of those walls. Uh, big wall or small wall? Uh, either of them. Oh, perfect. That looks weird. They're alive. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to turn all of this over to Mr. Dog, who can now build something in uh, in, in in this map. Just anything you want. Yes, I was actually hoping you might sort of bring us out of the dank everyone everyone on twitter said that this was a good idea to do this as a stream uh except for one patron and he immediately demolished my confidence in this but then <laughs> then then david said you know i can come on the stream if you want and i said yes and now it's a thing yeah i think i think this definitely uh works because it, it, i think it would be awkward to have someone try to well I'm trying. I, I'm actually just saying that this will never work, even though it's the whole idea of my chat. <laughs> Are we actually hearing a demon in the background? I was just going to say something is trying to yeah. eat Pickle's leg at this point. Yeah, uh, there's a minor dog fight going on back there. Just, just play flop, play flop. Uh, if you guys, please knock it off. <laughs> it does sound like Pinky demons in the background, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. mm, pretty much, yeah. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is. Um, I want to make one of those good old cliche um, light goes out and and once this um, monster closet opens experiences. So oh yeah, oh it opens from all sides. No wait, oh it's gonna be a yeah no no it's gonna be a four way um, monster closet. Oh wow okay oh evil I like it. Yeah. I I just wanted to dispel the uh, persistent rumor uh, which. <laughs> Is that monsters are attacking us and, and they, they I'm clearly? So sorry, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> he's, he's, being, he's being eaten up to the leg just now. It's like, it's a cascade of blood around, but he's still building his monster closets. Brave little trooper that he is. <laughs> but seeing as we are. Okay, uh, Pickle Dog is now being beamed out into space. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing all the noises to the stream. 
Are you still with us? Can you see Alpha Centauri from here? <laughs> so yeah, here you can see him doing just now uh, the trick that I mentioned the line defs that are placed very close together. He needs to do two things here. Hmm. So uh, he's got the two line defs that the player's going to walk over on the way to the switch. Are you going to put in a fake exit door? Yep. Uh, I'm, being, I'm being full asshole mode here. Oh, sleepy <laughs> little bastard. Oh, yes. So what, what are some of the best traps you've ever seen sprung, uh, uh, either in, in normal Doom or in a wad that you've played? Oh, so the classic one in normal Doom is the first time you go to level three, you pick up the blue key, the lights turn out, monsters open behind you. I think that was the the, the one that left a lasting impression. Yes. Um, there was a ward that I I wish I could remember the name, but it was part of a it was part of a collection. Uh, these uh, the Z Doom community uh, periodically holds uh, this. Uh, it's not a contest, but it's an encouragement for new people to make maps, and it's called Dump. Uh, it's Doom Upstart Mapping Project, uh, and and it's a collection of uh, levels, both veterans of Doom and complete beginners alike. Uh, there was one of them in I think the third episode of it, which uh, it starts off as a tech base. I really wish I could remember the uh, name or the or the author of it. Starts off as a tech base. You wander through. You pull some switches. You apparently get to the exit. You open the exit. The exit door does not open. The walls <laughs> of the entire level go down, and you're suddenly in this massive sandbox. A thousand monsters come at you. Wow! It's the yeah. It's the most amazing trap I've ever seen to make you think you've finished the level and you've just started it. Wow. Uh, and yeah, it was it was the best trap I have ever seen. Okay, this is going to be scaled up. This is Tani. Um, <laughs> um, and the ceiling is much too high. But yeah, well, I mean, basically what I've got is um, a fake exit door, mm -hmm. um, four monster closets, yep. and and two different line defs. One opens all the monster closets, the other one turns the lights out. Ah. That is sneaky. Cool. <laughs> well, uh, uh, same same question that David got. What what are some of your favorite traps that you can recall in in Doom? Um, I, I would say yes. I like the ones where the lights go out. Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, sudden sudden dropping floors are are, are are a definite favorite as well. That's yes. that is always a good trap. And and original Doom and Doom Two both had that in in, in, in some of their levels, mm -hmm. if I recall correctly. Yes. Yeah. Well, the floor just certainly gives out on you. Yeah. yeah, and I and I think in Doom Two they added the floor drops quickly, land def, and so that could really surprise you. Mm -hmm. you. You seem to have stopped mapping entirely, so I'm just going to take over. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, carry on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, oh fuck! What am I doing? Let's put something in here because I imagine you did all the uh, thing uh, or the uh, line defs and shit. Did all of that? Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's all hooked up. Everything should work. I just didn't I just didn't color it in yet. Uh, let's put some Lost Souls in here. Everyone loves Lost oh, yeah. Souls. Lost Souls, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. And, and they're all deaf, and that's by uh, design. Oh, yeah. oh, you make them all deaf. God, especially David. David loves Lost Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Lost watch? Souls are far too powerful. Not powerful, <laughs> but they, they've just got too much health. Okay. Let's yeah, see if so, the closet uh, comes down. Uh-huh. I heard, I heard oh, something yeah. off in the distance. Oh, but here they come. Here they come. Or not. Hey. Oh, did did I make them deaf? I think they may have inherited the deaf uh, property. Oh, right. I, I, okay, if they that is... Go until they see the player. If that is all it takes, I am going to go in and, and test. Yep, they're deaf. Now, now they are no longer. Uh, speaking of things that work, look! Look, it's a party! <laughs> yeah! We fixed it! <laughs> I just want to kill these. Uh, let's go down and see if Pickles Dark... <laughs> Sorry, Pickle's trap will spring. Uh, maybe his dog will spring too. I don't know. We'll see. And these come up as they do. Forgot to fix that texture, but who gives a shit? Uh, let's see. Oh wait. Uh, Why did you jump? I off don't it? know. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, Indiana Jones is waiting off in the wings to do his bit. I am referencing that scene at the end of uh, the third movie where he has to take that leap off the invisible bridge. Uh, it's not coming through very clearly. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Oh, what a nice... Hello. Oh, that one's already up for some reason. Weird. Oopsie. But uh, they can't see me and or I can't see them. maybe it doesn't have a texture. Yeah, I think it's the texture. Uh, it's missing. But let's go in here and... Oh, hello. Yeah, I guess so. The lights went off. That's great. Sons of bitches. Hit you all! Now do the cha-cha! 
Ten gun cha cha. <laughs> That's actually in the Doom manual, isn't it? Uh, if you get yes. the yes. description of the uh, chain gun. Watch them do the cha cha. Uh, gentlemen, we have we have constructed something. We have constructed. Yes. I, I believe we've 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 collectively conceived the baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a uh, um, we all men. It actually does. I mean, look at it uh, from this perspective. We've got Wendy and her tentacles up here and this nice little face <laughs> of her. She's got a little tumor off to the side there, but that's okay. The doctors can fix her later. Um, she's got she's got a body and an arm coming out this side and some sort of weird appendage uh, off to the right side with a couple of digits. And she's doing like a little sway of the hips. You see? A little sway of the hips there. <laughs> and she has a prehensile tail that has melded into one of her... Um, well, she doesn't actually have feet. She just sort of melts into the floor. I love this design. <laughs> I am going to call it Wendy's Mutation. <laughs> Fantastic. She's, she's even got her little backpack for school. Look at that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's off. We have, we have <laughs> so I, I really want to thank... Uh, uh, David Pickledog and I think Gemini was here as well. Um, for <laughs> barely, <laughs> I hope you <laughs> hope you at least had had a good time watching this. Uh, desperately want to thank you for 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 joining me for this. This was it, it went on for quite a while, and I'm very very happy that it did because I have learned a lot, and um, it has been an all round uh, pleasure uh, doing this with you. So thank you, thank you, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is this is this has been great. Thanks for having us on. <laughs>